Why would you buy this water in 10 seconds? Because it gives you oxygen. Why would you buy this water? Cool bubbles. Why would you buy this water? Italian style. Right? You put up all of those and then you say, is there something out here which is not being covered, which my water will be? Electrolyte enhanced. Yeah. Right, so yeah. that's so got it's, a technical it's ring. It's technical ring. This one, oxygizer. This seems to indicate that this bottle, again, I don't know this bottle, but this bottle is for people who are into high sports and performance activities and they want a lot of oxygen. It just means that's the image. We want to spend more money on our water, say, because Madonna drinks it because it's very fashionable and is, is, is properly designer. So we get, we, do we get enough out of it? And do yeah, we, we get, and we get real value out of that. And for a lot of people, that's real value. For me, it's negative, but for other people, it's a positive value that, you know, I'm associated, my life is sterile and dry. When I drink was water, I suddenly feel I'm transformed into the world of Madonna. You just I mean, speak for marketing a, all for the a, time. For, it's for a minute, I'm transformed. I mean, would you deny a person that kind of happiness for a few minutes for two pounds? I mean, that's a pretty good two quid deal, I think. You're so honest about what the marketing is. <laughs> what do you want me to like, say? Well, hey, I you might try and hide it. And no, it's marketing is about selling hope in a bottle. I mean, that's what we are about. Well, now, you see, I've got a bit of a treat for you here as a marketing man because I had to get this off eBay because it's very difficult to get a hold of now. This is the Sarni, which, if you remember, was the ill-fated water launched by Coca-Cola, wasn't it? I mean, there was a bit of an outcry. It was taken off the shelves. Yeah, because they found uh, that it was a little bit... Uh, did not meet the regulations of UK. Did people think they were getting something they weren't? Did they imagine that this had trickled out of some Pyrenean stream, when in fact it had, it had come out of a tap somewhere in London and been filtered and purified. It's true, it's coming out of a tap and has just been, you know, processed a little bit more. Now what does it say? It says pure still water. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't say anything about like the other water spring or natural. No. So they're actually not uh, what you call mismarketing it because they don't Professor Kumar tells me that apart from the image and marketing, there are differences between bottled waters. When we go to the supermarket, it's not only the price that varies. What we should be looking for on the label is this. Natural mineral water obviously contains minerals from its underground source and is not treated. Spring water is just water extracted from a spring and is also bottled at source. Lastly, bottled water is just drinking water which is bottled and may come from a public supply. So what should I call mine? Because, you know, I'm, I'm being honest here. Uh, it's going to come out of a tap. Um, mine will be from Gloucestershire. From Gloucestershire. Now the is question is, I don't know England well enough, but does Gloucestershire uh, bring some image which is unique? Like, does it bring the image of being fresh, cool, highland, uh, sophisticated? No, keep no. going. Um, More words, you're the marketer. Countryside? It's very rural. Rural countryside. Very so we are rural. back to our roots, where our ancestors came from. Maybe right. not that rural, but Maybe that's pretty that good. good. <laughs> I'm in a place name, Pellmell. Pellmell's the name of my house, so I mean that could go in. It's on a bit of a hill, and we think that um, when the bicycle was first invented, people used to just go belting down on these bicycles out of control, Pellmell. And Pellmell means kind of. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Pellmell, yeah, out of so control. Is that any help? People come down out of control. Yeah. Crazy water for people in crazy. So when you're having a rave, what crazy water? water. Crazy, crazy water for the raves. Pellmell. I wanted to do country and outdoorsy, and you've got something for rave. Pell mell crazy water. I'll go I'll with tell it. you there are many choices. Okay, okay, we'll go with that. Then we need an image for the labels. What do you think of when you think of crazy? Crazy. Uh, I was hit by lightning. That was great. Hit by lightning. Hey, yeah. There it is. Now we could have a guy on the on the on the label who's hit by lightning. Crazy water. That's brilliant. But one thing that's left. It seems the success is all in the marketing and image. So with the professor's help, I think I'm on to a winner. First things first, the label design. Right. Well, all of that's got my brain racing. Hello, you. Come on. You can help. Actually, you can help with this, is he? Pell mell water. I just wonder about maybe lightning hitting a tree, or do we need to see a person? What do you think? Hitting a tree or a person, is he? I don't know. You don't know, right? Maybe if we get this idea of chaos. You. You're the chaos element there. Wow. What if you had it hitting the tree and water came out? It's weird. Yeah. I'm funny. There you go. Bottled out to crazy source. Lightning hits tree, water comes out of tree. Big surprise. It's all a bit crazy and exciting. And it's got a power boost thing in there as well. We're rich. A couple of calls to trading standards and environmental health. And Pell Mell Water is ready to go. So now it's the moment of truth. 
Remember, I tried to sell my tap water here in a jug for 0.1p and had nothing but rejections. But with a fancy bottle, a 25,000% price increase and a tad more charm, let's see if Professor Kumar was right. Right. Just wondering if I can tempt you with the label there. It is water, yeah. Well, it's my tap water from my hands. You watch it draw this guy in. Watch this. You see, you know, he's fighting it, but he's fighting it very well. Do you drink bottled water? I do drink bottled water. Would you like to buy some of this? <laughs> Never heard of it. It's tap water. 25 beer bottle, what do you think? I'll go for it. Good bat, sea sauce. It's on oh, my own tap. Drink two litres of very thirsty. thirsty. One of the cheapest status symbols on the market. What price is it? It's 25 pence. Oh, for a bottle. Yeah. 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 You can get it from home for free. Yeah, but you haven't got your tap with you, have you? That's the point. Yeah. Can I take two? Tested with harmless as well. Widely available and accessible. Oh, right. There it is. Do you, do you like the look of that? Looks good. Do you like the label? Love the label. This comes out of my tap. It's perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with it. How much is it? It's 25 p a bottle. That's better than most. Oh, oh, Here we get two bottles. Okay. There you go, you <laughs> see. <laughs> oh, 20. Mm. It's not filtered or anything like that. It's very smooth. See? It's pretty conclusive. Half an hour and 20 bottles sold. What do you want people to do? That's absolutely Done. fine. Enjoy. Well, this is endorsed by a top celebrity called Richard Hammond. He's incredibly famous over here, so that's, you know... Never heard of. No. No. <laughs> it's one for you, one for you. That's Enjoy. lovely. Enjoy. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. My final customers, and that's it. And to be honest, when I started this program, I had high expectations. I really did. I fully expected to find tales of horrible, gory gremlins in our tap water. But to be honest, I didn't. I also expected to find that drinking the full advised two litres of water a day would turn me into a six-foot-tall, shiny-eyed, shiny, shiny golden-maned god. I don't think it'll do that. I also expected to find that drinking bottled water would make me live until I was a thousand and run at a hundred miles an hour. Can't tell you that either, sadly. But what I can tell you is this. I know now how much better drinking enough water makes you feel. And I know that tap water, as far as I can tell, is cheap and perfectly safe. So I'll be drinking that. So will I worry about it? Yeah! I'm going on a journey to discover just what is work doing. Is it ruining our health? Headaches, backaches, joint pains, high blood pressure, higher rate of heart attacks. I'm not suited. If I was suited for this job, I'd be a damn secretary. <laughs>